Jesus urges his beloved child to remember to pray at all times. When you pray, it's like having a dialogue between your intellect and heart. Praying connects you to the divine and draws you nearer to me. Never forget to pray whenever you feel lost or alone. When I sit quietly and think, that's when I listen. Just tell me what's on your mind without all the formalities. Keep an optimistic outlook. There are moments when the world seems to be full of obstacles and difficulties. Please submit your prayer for the Lord's favor. An optimistic outlook can turn challenges into opportunities. Having an optimistic outlook is like having a lighthouse in the middle of a storm. Keeping a positive outlook helps keep your energy levels up. Try to see the positive side of things instead. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Whenever you encounter challenges, how can I grow as a person as a result of this? An optimistic outlook does not mean doom and gloom, but rather confronts adversity head. On with trust and optimism. Have faith that a rainbow is on the horizon, regardless of how severe the storm may be. Keep an open mind to the very end. You must be open to life's surprises. Some of them may not be nice, but you must be. Everything you go through, everything you learn, and everyone you encounter can teach you something. Letting go of assumptions and biases is the essence of openness. It entails making room in your life for the arrival of fresh concepts, chances, and benefits. Finding what you're seeking might sometimes happen at the most inopportune moments. Get the benefits you deserve. There are many benefits in store for you. Some people could... Some manifest as obstacles and others as benefits. Count your blessings each morning as you greet each new day. Consider each breath a blessing. You may count on my unwavering support at all times. Trust that I am leading you even when you cannot see my presence. You can weather any storm that comes your way if you are open, optimistic, prayerful, and believe in yourself. Keep appreciation in mind for all its benefits. Appreciating the little things in life may lead to bittersweet benefits. Grateful people should always consider their issues. Practicing thankfulness has the power to change your outlook and fill your heart with happiness. Be patient. There is a time for everything. Something may write Amen, even if it hasn't occurred yet. Embrace my plan for you, if you're on board. Even if it's unclear to you at the moment, I know what's best for you. Put yourself in the company of upbeat individuals. By their encouragement and direction, you will be able to persevere. Their enthusiasm and affection will brighten your days and spread to others in the shape of people's surroundings or even your own ideas whenever a pessimistic notion crosses your head, replace it with an optimistic one. Doing so will assist you in keeping a level head. Be there for others in times of need at all times. By extending a helping hand to others in need, you pave the way for a windfall for yourself. If you are a Christian, Subscribing to this channel will bring you unmatched satisfaction in giving. Spread the good news to everyone you meet. No matter how fortunate you become, you should always keep your head down. In all things, stay rooted. Never forget your roots or the people who, who have helped you along the road. Be grateful and keep in mind the grace that has been given to you. Trust at all times. When times get tough, your faith will be there to keep you afloat. May it be so. With self-confidence, trust, and my plan for your life, nothing is impossible. You are fortunate, treasured, and adored, my darling. Hold on to your faith, maintain an optimistic outlook, and be receptive to the many blessings that are on their way to you. Visit link now. If you want to learn how to simply attract large sums of money, the astonishing riches secrets disclosed by a renegade NASA scientist are ready to be revealed in the comments below. For every struggle, there is a hidden blessing. Have faith in it and understand 
that you will never be alone. No matter what, my darling, I will be right there with you. Something has been planned for you, with love and intention. It is weaved into a pattern. Never forget that this whole universe is moving according to a predetermined plan. No matter how random the events may seem, in this journey, every day is an important step. While some days may be bright and cheerful, others may bring difficulties. Nonetheless, keep in mind that the sun and rain are necessary for flowering. It's normal to feel confused and uncertain when things don't work out the way you anticipated. At such moments, you may have wondered why I'm experiencing this or what I did to merit it. Have faith, I beg you. Belief in the path, faith in the procedure, and above all, faith in myself to accept God's gift. Type Amen. There is a lesson to be learned from every obstacle, not a punishment. A chance to develop and progress presents itself. If you want to develop spiritually and personally, these teachings are essential. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and having faith is essential on this trip. After all, it isn't about the end point, but the journey itself. In that light, I am lighting the path to your abundant wealth. Having a lot of money isn't the only measure of prosperity. Having meaningful connections, love, tranquility, and plenty of experiences are all important. It's not about acquiring more wealth, but rather about being grateful for what you have. In concealment, sometimes the greatest benefits arrive. Remember that there is always a silver lining, even in the darkest of times. A loss may lead to a fresh beginning, and a setback can lead to a return. A roller coaster ride is the best way to describe the ups and downs of life. Getting God's blessing will be a roller coaster trip, full of ups and downs like this video. But isn't that just the fun part? Take comfort in the fact that everything that happens to you, good and terrible, is working out according to my perfect plan. Having people around you that, when you're down, They'll be there to remind you of your mission, cheer you on, and encourage you to keep going since positive people think and do the same. When you are uncertain, prayer is the way to reach me directly. Find solace in prayer during times of suffering. When you discover a way to pray that brings you joy, pray that you are never alone on your path. It provides comfort, direction, and strength. Being grateful is the key to attracting plenty. Count your blessings every day, from the oxygen you inhale to the affection you get. There is always something to be thankful for in what you get. A great method to assist yourself is to help other people. Giving brings an incalculable amount of happiness, contentment, and blessings into one's life, that we are all interdependent, and that when you help other people, you help yourself is a powerful message. Just as a farmer waits patiently for his crops to flourish after sowing the seeds, so too must a kid possess patience. So too must a kid possess patience. Waiting for results is something you'll have to do as well. You will eventually get the fruits of your labor. If you remain faithful and diligent, never lose sight of the fact that you contribute to a greater whole. Trust that you are ideally suited for your role. Even if you are unable to see the larger picture at the moment, you are a part of a tremendous jigsaw and every piece serves a unique and important function. Everyone has their own story their own lessons to learn, and their own time. So there's no need to compare your trip to anybody else's. No matter how long it took someone else to do something, it doesn't imply you can't. Every step of your path is special and special in its own way. 
Rejoice in your successes, no matter how little. Each and every one of your journey's milestones deserves attention. Taking action brings you one step closer to your aspirations. Sing a hymn of praise to me, Jesus Christ. Finally, have faith in yourself at all times. You are powerful, resilient, and loved. All attributes bestowed upon you by the divine. In spite of obstacles, you can succeed and thrive. Every thread has its function in the magnificent fabric of life, my darling child. Have faith in my plan. Trust the procedure. Always remember that I am with you, leading the road to love that has no end. Wealth and success. What is ahead for you is a divine plan, and your path is a holy one. From the day you were born, you have never been really alone in this enormous world. All you have ever needed is an open heart, my darling. Your guardian angel has been chosen for you long before that. In addition to being a confidant and counselor, this heavenly entity will shield you from harm. Worry not, because your angel observes everything. When worry keeps you up at night, and anxiety presses down on your chest throughout the day, you have an angel looking out for you who is ready to provide a hand. Sense of their existence isn't always simple to get by. The constant clamor, background noise, and interruptions of everyday life might. You may not always be able to hear their soft murmurs, but know that they are there by your side, patiently waiting for the right moment. Anytime you feel like you can't take it anymore, just stop what you're doing. Shut your eyes, breathe deeply, and quietly summon your guardian angel. No matter the time of day, they are standing by to take your call. As a protector of your mental and spiritual clarity, your guardian angel has a special ability. They can dispel any and all bad feelings. They made you forget how much of a weight worrying is. It resembles uh, an emotional burden that makes moving forward more challenging. In order to ease your burden and make your trip easier, your guardian angel wants to take it upon themselves. Similar to a gloomy and foreboding storm, anxiety also has a way out. An angel may be a safe haven for you. They protect you from the fury and lead you to peaceful worries. It's normal to feel overwhelmed by them, but keep in mind that you have an angel watching over you. They are endowed with age, old knowledge, and can provide guidance that will get you through tough times. Entrust your concerns to the angels. Imagine entrusting them with all your worries, concerns, and terrors. Allow yourself to feel the burden being lifted from your back, the joy that envelops your soul. Your guardian angel's main role is to protect you from harm and lead you along a road of love, stability, and optimism. To accept it, type amen. To be peaceful is to have an overwhelming sensation of contentment. To know that no matter what happens, everything will work out in the end. This is a gift that your guardian angel has chosen to give to you. A tranquil setting is like a spiritual bomb. It gently reminds you that, in the big picture, everything is for a reason. You are invaluable to every single celestial body in the cosmos, not just to the people closest to you. The fact that you are here attests to the miraculous nature of creation, and your guardian angel rejoices over you daily. Put your faith in this celestial friend. They have seen your resilience when you were weak, your success when you felt strong, and their belief in you when you doubted yourself. There are many curves on the road of life. As the seasons change, you can be sure that your guardian angels will always be there for you, no matter what. Channel your inner light. The mere contemplation of an emotion or an imploring whisper suffices. Signs, intuitions, and even the generosity of complete strangers may be ways they react, even if you don't anticipate them. 
Never forget to express your gratitude to your guardian angel. Gratitude is a potent energy that can do wonders for your connection to the divine and for drawing good vibes into your life. Your guardian angel is more than that. They are also a confidant, companion, and mentor. Because they care about you, they celebrate your victories and try to ease your pain when you're uncertain of yourself. They want you to be happy and successful. Put your trust in your guardian angel by closing your eyes and picturing their luminous presence around you. My darling, take in all the comfort, love, and tranquility they provide. You should never feel alone while you face the difficulties that life throws at you. Whenever you need someone to listen to you out and alleviate your fears, your guardian angel is there for you. Have faith in them. Rely on them and allow them to lead you to the peace that is rightfully yours in God's plan. You will always be loved and cared for. Fear of the unknown is real, my darling. The future's hidden pathways may seem bleak and unsure, but keep in mind that even the lightest of dawns comes from the darkest of places, and your destiny's light will shine brilliantly when the sun rises. Much like an unfinished book, the future is full of possibilities. You have some control over the pen, but not over everything. You are in a position to shape the stories Fear of the unknown is a normal human feeling. It's a natural response to things you don't understand. But rather than letting that anxiety hold you back, channel it into something positive. Allow it to serve as a reminder to those who believe in God of the significance of being well prepared to make educated judgments and of having faith in God's plan. Optimism is a remedy for anxiety. In the shadows of doubt, Hope shines. It serves as a guiding light. Never lose hope, no matter how muddled the road ahead may seem. Allow it to be the unwavering pulse that drives you on. Being optimistic does not entail disregarding. Truth or the difficulties that lie ahead. It's all about having faith in the possibility of a better tomorrow. It's the realization that one can bring about a better world by working hard sticking with it and having faith in a world where everything seems tempting staying focused is essential if you can keep your mind on the task at hand you will be one step closer to realizing your ambitions after all every journey begins with a single step you can direct your efforts filter out distractions and zero in on what's important using focus find a way to organize your objectives Plan ahead and be steadfast. Stay focused on the prize type even when doubts and challenges pop up. Your concentration, like a laser beam illuminating your way, should be the driving force that keeps you grounded, pushes you towards your destiny, and reminds you that God is with you. Having a strong will and sticking to your objectives, no matter what is what it takes to be resilient. The bravery to remain resolute in the face of hardship and the conviction to maintain one's principles. There will be obstacles, disappointments, and times of uncertainty, but keep in mind that even gold undergoes testing and fire. Similarly, it is through adversity that one's genuine character and strength are revealed. And finally, your resolve serves as a barrier against pessimism. It protects you from those who doubt you and find fault with you. Being resilient makes you unstoppable. It transforms you into a powerful force that can transform obstacles into possibilities. Although the future holds no guarantees, how you choose to face it is entirely up to you. Keeping a positive outlook will bring more optimism into your path. If you're the sort who loves God, being focused makes sure that everything you do has a purpose. And being resistant makes sure that no obstacle can defeat you. Trust in your abilities. You are resilient, smart, and full of life. 
you can overcome any challenge that comes your way. Whatever you've accomplished in the past, no matter how large or little, speaks volumes about your capacity. Take cues from the people you encounter. Read about those who overcame obstacles to establish a name for themselves. You may find inspiration in their adventures. Allow their resolve to be fueled. Be nice at all times. A world characterized by love, understanding, and compassion rather than just individual achievement is what we should strive for in the years to come. What you do now to help others will have an impact tomorrow. When unsure of what to do, talk to someone you trust. Whether that's a mentor, a loved one, or God, asking for aid is always a good idea. On your path, you will never be really alone. All things work together for the good of those who ask honestly. Have faith in God's purpose and have faith in His strength. Know that there is a greater force working to direct, bless, and protect you, my darling. Even though you have a significant impact on your own destiny, the future may be full of unknowns, but you can face them with optimism, concentration, and determination. Your every move is a demonstration of your boundless potential for greatness. Never forget within the vast fabric of you are more than just a thread. You are an integral, dynamic, and priceless component of the whole. Dreaming, my darling, is the foundation of all great and everlasting things. Yet dreams, by themselves, cannot lead you to your goal. You need to get up and move, take some bold steps, and seek out inspired action if you want your dreams to come true. Your passion, clarity, and purpose drive the steps you take which are distinct from your activity. Inspiration should not be the driving force behind aimless wandering, but rather a clear sense of purpose. To be wealthy is to have a... experiencing a complete plenty in all areas of life, including material possessions, emotional well-being, meaningful connections, and spiritual satisfaction. And to draw out this wealth Motivated behavior is crucial. Regardless of how little the steps may be, taking action is still progress. Each step matters. A thousand miles is the equivalent of this route. You just need to take that first step if you're really motivated and inspired. Pay attention to your gut. The still, little voice inside you may be a guiding light that leads you to take creative action on many occasions. It gives you hints and shows you the ropes. Inspired action is spontaneous, but it's also smart. It's about seeing possibilities and grabbing them. Not because you're desperate, but because you understand them and they connect with your objectives. Your objectives should always be crystal clear. Jot them down, see them, and feel them. When your objectives are well defined, the way to reach them becomes obvious, and along this route, you find inspiration with each step. Getting ready is key. If you want to trust God, being prepared to seize opportunities is the essence of inspired action. Gain insight, polish your abilities, and foster a development mentality. These are the knocks that will equip you you can respond quickly and efficiently if you are well prepared. Sometimes, fear gets in the way. Feelings of inadequacy or fear of failing are normal, but keep in mind that every obstacle serves as a springboard for success. Rather than letting fear stop you, channel it into a driving force behind your aspirations. All riches and prosperity don't often materialize quickly. Rather, it is the constant, everyday, inspired activities that build up and eventually lead to to do great things. Maintain your dedication to your path, and enough will be bestowed on you in return. Rejoice in every achievement, no matter how little. Your inspired activity is the foundation of every success and advancement. You may encourage yourself to do better 
and reward yourself for good actions by having a party. Keep in touch with your purpose. When you know why you're doing something, your actions have more weight. Fill your life with optimistic people. Associate with those that inspire you. Books that shed light on settings that, when you're feeling good, take care of your soul. It becomes second nature to act on inspiration. Stay away from putting things off till later. Progress is often thwarted by delays. Do something immediately when you are prompted to do so. The time is now, right now, is usually the best moment. Pray or meditate to seek instruction from above. When you make peace with the spiritual, you open yourself up to receiving guidance and understanding in the material world. Keep being flexible. Sometimes, the cosmos may have a different agenda. Motivated behavior also includes being to be adaptable, to turn when necessary, and to know that, with faith, any branch may take you to your goal. Kindness is another aspect of prosperity. Be mindful to raise other people up and give assistance as you draw abundance. When you do this, you start a domino effect of wealth that benefits everyone in your life. Everything is in a perpetual state of change. My darling child, according to God, this is true from the time you are born until your heart stops beating. I have faith in God's plan, and I know that it will pass, just like the changing of the seasons. Your happiness and sadness picture, just for a second, the ocean's crashing waves. Like these waves, each one builds to a climax, then crashes to a halt. The good and the bad things that happen to us in life both have beginnings and endings. The impermanence of life is summed up by this. Those are the periods when we often feel the most hurt and devastated. We seem to be carrying the whole planet on our shoulders. Keep in mind that just as this day will pass, so will this anguish. Consider a day when it's raining. It may seem like the stone has an infinite lifespan. While it's pouring down rain, the clouds part and the sun comes out in all its glory. When we face adversity, we should remember that pain and sorrow, like the storm, are temporary. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, but taking comfort in the knowledge that nothing lasts forever could help rather than telling us to ignore or bury our emotions. This insight gives us context for every experience, no matter how difficult, of our lives. Our kids become older, our friendships change, and we may even switch careers or relocate. Whether large or little, these shifts teach us to appreciate the here and now because they show us how transient life is. This transience is evident even in the natural world. The natural world is always changing. Rivers rise and fall. Flowers blossom and wither and mountains grow and shrink. There is always a flock somewhere in the cosmos. Happiness, too, is fleeting. Like sadness, it arrives and departs. Rather of fixating on transient feelings of happiness, we should realize that life is full of ups and downs and be pleased with it. Having this knowledge allows us to face each day with peace and serenity. But getting to this state of mind requires persistence, self, reflection, and time. We may develop this comprehension via spiritual activities and meditation. Sitting quietly and thinking things through helps us to see the bigger picture the natural ups and downs of life start to make more sense. Attempting to cling to pleasure or pain is like grasping sand with both hands. As soon as we let go, it dribbles away. To meet adversity with resilience, one must grasp it softly, enjoy its existence, and then release it. Typing Amen doesn't imply that one should stifle their feelings. Believers in angels, know what it's like to experience their presence. Accept it and then release it, whether good or unpleasant. Every event has a purpose. Thus, when you are down and out, keep in mind, 
what God has spoken. This is just a chapter, not the whole book, of suffering. It will not last forever. With each passing day, Dawn will encounter new situations, feelings, and possibilities. Realizing that every moment is valuable and transient, we are invited to live freely and love sincerely by God's promise that nothing is permanent. Rather than becoming passive, we should embrace this truth. In sum, life's transience is a gift and a curse. It forces us to treasure each moment and highlights the wonder of transformation. Knowing that suffering is transitory allows us to confront adversity head on. Secure in the belief that better times are ahead, life's genuine substance isn't found in its ever-changing character. So therefore, accept impermanence. Everything occurs for a purpose and the cosmos has grand and complicated designs as God in his infinite wisdom often reminds us there is a reason for everything that happens. By the grace of God, every chapter closes with a fresh start. Picture a winding route if you trust in God's timetable. On occasion, it's straight, so we may take advantage of the wind and go faster. Sometimes the path is twisty and difficult, testing our mettle. Similar to this path, life is full of ups and downs. And while we can't always see it, every curve in the road teaches us something. Feelings of helplessness and loss are common reactions to endings. A beloved relationship, career, or even a stage of life may be coming to an end. Although sadness and loss are common first reactions, remember that with every ending comes the opportunity for a fresh start. Think about the times after the brilliant. The changing seasons usher in autumn's vibrant hues as the trees prepare for winter. Despite how it feels, it's a required facelift. These very trees produce an abundance of new foliage and flowers every spring. Just like the changing of the seasons, the end of one thing ushers in the beginning of another. If you've ever lost something important, only to find out later that it made way for something much better. You may remember that feeling. Maybe you found your dream job via an experience that wasn't a perfect match for you. Maybe the breakup paved the door for a new relationship, which in turn gave deeper. In the midst of adversity, the truth that God has a purpose for everything serves as a guiding light. It's a reminder to step back from the suffering and consider the bigger picture even if we don't know why right now. Eventually, things become clear. We are all on our own special journeys, and we're all going through different things. These events mold us, allowing us to develop and change. Nevertheless, in order to do so, we must sometimes release outdated ideas, habits, or relationships that impede our progress. A greater good the caterpillar changes into a butterfly after undergoing a full metamorphosis. In doing so, it embraces transformation, sheds its old self, and comes out on the other side more beautiful and liberated. We are all forced to let go of our old selves and welcome new opportunities as our lives come to similar ends. While it's true that endings hurt, God's words reassure us that there's a greater purpose at work, even if we can't see it right now. Every setback and every ending presents a chance for development, change, and renewal. Faith may help navigate an uncertain future. Trust in God's plan. Have faith in the cosmos. And have self-confidence serve as our moorings. When we have this faith, we can weather life's storms with the knowledge that everything is working out according to plan. When one door shuts, another opens. But sometimes we fixate on the closed door that we miss the open one. If we want to embrace new beginnings, we need to be brave enough to leave our comfort zones and go into unknown territory. Every story's climax. 
serves as a gentle reminder to live in the now. Being alive is a thrill. When we cling too firmly to things, we miss out on new and exciting things in life. It's crucial to go with the flow of life, knowing that it will eventually lead you where you need to go, like a river that changes course as it goes. To claim it, enter Amen. Sometimes in life, you'll just feel like nothing is making sense. God's message becomes more important in these times, that everything happens for a reason, and that every chapter ends with the hope of a new beginning. Life, in the end, is full of surprises. Its beauty and its greatest obstacle are nature. Every chapter's conclusion and every shift contribute to a larger plan. Loss is normal, but so is the need to have an open mind and heart toward what the future may bring. We can face the unpredictable nature of life with hope and faith, knowing that there is a purpose behind every event. Any one moment may bring off a chain reaction. The journey is not without its share of difficulties encountered along the way. It's natural to feel helpless and discouraged at times. Yet, there is comfort in God's word, in a great potential, turning our suffering into strength, our anxieties into clarity, and our challenges into resolve. Whether it's physical, mental, or spiritual, everyone feels suffering. Discomfort is real, but God tells us it's not pointless. Rather, it's a means to an end, a means to transformation and development. We come out of it better, brighter, and more resilient than when we went in. Like coal under tremendous pressure, just go back to a period when you were down and out emotionally. Even if they are filled with grief, such times often convey life's teachings, both visible and invisible, shape us, instilling qualities like perseverance, tolerance, and strength. No matter how great our suffering, God assures us that it may be transformed into strength and a driving force for our progress. Anxietism is another shackling emotion. It ruins our plans and makes a big deal out of little things. However, God's word is very clear. Anxiety can be overcome. If we can overcome our fears and turn them into a compass that points us in the direction of what's really important, we can overcome any obstacle that comes our way. It becomes a chance to face our fears directly and use them as stepping stones to greater heights rather than avoiding them. Stay tuned for this video. Keep watching to the very end. Consider the triggers for your anxiety or fears. When we adjust our viewpoint and see fear as a compass instead of a wall, we overcome our fears, which are usually associated with the unknown or the prospect of failing. Putting our efforts where they will do the most good becomes a top priority. With this concentration comes focus, direction, and at the end of the day, we all have to overcome obstacles. Life isn't always peachy. Storms are inevitable. Nonetheless, what makes us unique is not the existence of the storm, but our ability to weather it. Difficulties have the power to either weaken us or strengthen our resolve. God promises that no matter how difficult things become, they are molding our resolve and encouraging us to keep going. Envision a river that, on its course, runs over a huge boulder. Instead of turning around or stopping, it finds a means to go around it. There will be splits, trickles, and constant onward motion. If you are in need of this, just type it out. We resemble this river in many ways. Problems that may slow us down are called the boulders of life. However, if we are determined, we can always find a way to overcome them. The message of God is a guiding light. It tells us that our trials are not insignificant, that the anguish we endure now is making us stronger tomorrow. 
and that our worries, when seen differently, may make us more determined to overcome our challenges rather than weaken our resolve. Grit, every one of us, has an untapped well of inner power. We find the strength when we're down and out, when everything looks hopeless. A promise from God serves as a gentle reminder of our inherent strength, a call to action to face our fears, struggles, and sorrow head on and find ways to transform them into opportunities for personal development. We all have periods of self-doubt, when we wonder what we're here for, how capable we are, or how capable we are, and if we're really here at all. God's words ring truest in these moments. They tell us that we aren't going through this alone. Life's journey is filled with ups and downs. But we have the power to choose how we react to the storms and difficulties we face. The fact that God promises us comfort and guidance through these difficult times is a miracle and proof that we can turn our suffering into strength. Difficulty forges our resolve, and fear transforms into concentration. Faith and bravery allow us to confidently face life's curveballs. Being aware that each event shapes us into people who are more resilient, intelligent, and driven, uncertainty, pain, and confusion are common threads in life's complex tapestry. But God's words are a lighthouse across it all. The next chapter of your life will provide a grin that never fades and enjoys lingering. It's a guarantee that brighter days are on the horizon. Heal me, Lord. He lights the way ahead with a promise of pleasure and satisfaction. The plot twists and turns in every narrative. There are moments when our life stories are days when hope seems like a faint whisper in the wind. Yet just as darkness gives way to dawn, so does each difficult chapter in Seaman's life pave the way for a brighter one, a grin, particularly a lasting one, is more than simply a facial expression. It mirrors the happiness that one feels within. God assures us that our delight will be permanent, not fleeting, but an integral part of who we are. This guarantee provides proof that what lies ahead is lovely and hopeful. Like the arrival of spring after a long, hard winter, our lives will inevitably undergo a period of regeneration and enjoyment after a string of difficult occurrences has passed. The next chapter, as God says, is like the arrival of spring, which brings the flowers of happiness and contentment. Finding one's own voice is also crucial to fulfilling this commitment. The difficulties we face in life cause us to doubt our value and our ability to make a difference. Yet as we overcome these obstacles, we also reveal new aspects of our resilience, and as we also reveal new and adaptability, the hope of a new, better chapter is more than simply material happiness. It also represents a stronger connection with one's own identity. Consider an experience where you overcame adversity to gain wisdom. Perhaps it was the value of perseverance, optimism, or patience. These teachings will serve as beacons of light as you journey towards a life filled with true joy. A lifetime of happiness is an enormous guarantee. It doesn't mean there won't be difficulties, but it does mean you'll be happy no matter what happens in the world. What this implies is that no matter how bad things become, there is always a wellspring of happiness inside to bring us joy and remind us of how amazing life is. Your interactions, job, and relationships all benefit from your true happiness, which spreads like wildfire. Your positive attitude has a multiplicative impact on others around you. It boosts their spirits, gives them hope, and illuminates their lives. Developing this new chapter calls for hope and trust. It entails releasing regrets from the past and focusing on the future. If you want God's blessing, like this video, each new page is a chance for a new beginning. 
and you may sail through life with grace and confidence because of God's promise. The simple things in life, like a kind remark, a soft wind, or a shared laugh, may provide more delight than big occasions or major accomplishments in this next phase of your life. Remember to savor these moments, since they are the foundation of a joyful existence. What God says is more than mere assurance. They serve as a poignant reminder that amidst every storm, a rainbow emerges, that the stars shine brightest at night, and that the voyage, despite its difficulties, has been a chapter of extraordinary joy. Ultimately, the path through life is a wondrous and dynamic one. The ups and downs of life are like chapters in a book. With each turn of the page, we become nearer to the pleasure and eternal smile that God has promised. We can welcome this fresh start with optimism and confidence because we know it will be full of moments. Things will bring joy to our spirits and fill our hearts with joy. The icing on the cake, so to speak. The journey towards self. Discovery and happiness may be fraught with unexpected detours and turns. When they need direction, many people pray. A deep reinforcement of the power of belief and endurance when God whispers that miracles are on the horizon and that our trust will be repaid, provides comfort or merely a message that they are not alone. Praying is like having a one, on one chat with the divine, who are the embodiments of our innermost. Our prayers are expressions of our deepest longings, our worst worries and our deepest aspirations. At times, they are expressions of thankfulness but more than anything else. They are expressions of faith, a belief in a power bigger than ourselves, a force that now unites the cosmos, a force that now unites the cosmos. We can only fathom the delight that would overflow from God's confirmation that our petitions have not only reached Him, but have been really acknowledged. A word of assurance is more than that. It is a guarantee of future miracles. These wonders, nevertheless, what are they? There are times when the seeming, when faith receives its reward and hope overcomes despair, the unthinkable becomes achievable. Every person's path to faith is different. Some may have been hoping for healing, while others may have been seeking instruction or a message from on high. If you feel the same way, you may write Amen. Some people may have quietly wished for loved ones, while others may have sought solace from the turmoil of life. God has made it quite apparent that all of these prayers are important. Faith, in all its forms, will soon provide a reward. Remember the times when everything darkened, when light appeared like a mirage and the road ahead seemed hazy. In the depths of despair, Faith shines brightly like a beacon, and the promise of God serves as a constant reminder that a miracle may still happen at any moment. Everyday occurrences, like receiving a phone call from a friend when you were feeling lonely, giving you the will to keep going when you felt like giving up, or even just suddenly seeing a method to solve an issue that seemed impossible, may be miraculous. God's favor is multifaceted, taking the shape of exactly what we need rather than what we want. Just as a seed takes time to sprout and flourish, the route towards these wonders frequently involves patience. The benefits of patience are always pleasant, even if they don't emerge immediately when trust is nurtured. A miracle, a proof of life's cyclical nature and a source of hope. That is what each daybreak is after a dark night, recognizing the significance of thankfulness. For example, the, any blessing, no matter how little, may have a multiplicative effect on our happiness because they help us focus on the good and appreciate the wonders that are all around us and are all around us at all times. To show your devotion for mighty Jesus, type him in. In addition to a promise, 
God's words are an invitation. An invitation to put our faith in hope and to know that no matter how difficult life becomes, there is a greater purpose at work, even if we can't see it. Taking up this message is acknowledging the wonders that are happening right now. What this implies is that we must have faith that no matter how difficult things are, they are always paving the way for better things to come, that our sorrows will be eventually replaced by joy, and that our private prayers are being heard and answered. Finally, the rich tapestry of life's events is ripe with opportunities for wonder. Faith may show through in the face of any difficulty or time of uncertainty. By keeping our minds and spirits open and believing in the universe's ability to bring about miraculous changes, we may go ahead with confidence. Much obliged for your time. Please consider subscribing to our channel so you can see more videos like this. If you like this one and thought it was useful, until we meet again, make sure you click the bell button to get alerted whenever we upload a new video. Be well, and until next time, we'll see you. Angel predicts that if you watch this video all the way through, you will receive an unexpected fortune within three to five days. If you watch this video through to the end, you will receive what you truly desire. It will be better financially soon. You will soon have your own apartment. Please note that typing onamento may indicate that you will receive a large sum of money before the end of the month. Your health, happiness, prosperity, and success are going to improve dramatically. To confirm God's statement, my beloved child, I am the one who restores all things. Type amen. I can tell that you're sick. I understand the hardships and worries you have about money, and I want you to know that I'm working to make things better for you. I care deeply about your well-being, because I am the ultimate healer. I am able to fix broken things, cure sick things, and restore what has been lost. Please trust that I am able to heal you and rely on me when you are weak. The next hundred years of your life will be the best. Keep daydreaming about every touch. Praise be. I shall get excellent news about this before the month comes to a close. I am the giver of all things. Keep that in mind if you ever require this for your money. I take immense pleasure in bestowing upon you everything that you need, and my resources are limitless. Your present financial difficulties are just that. Temporary. I will provide for your needs in accordance with my magnificent resources, and I am working on answers that you cannot see. In addition, I bring unfathomable peace that cannot be described. Your soul's anguish is plain to behold, and I would want to offer you my tranquility in its stead, so that you may find peace inside yourself and protect your thoughts and emotions from harm. In the end, there is no bliss that can compare to mine. Having a strong bond with me is more important than having material wealth or being successful in life. I promise that, as we get closer, I will give you delight beyond all understanding. My child's restoration is a journey, not a destination. It calls for persistence, trust, and time. Rest assured, I will be by your side every step of the way. Keep believing and relying on me to see my restoration power in your life. According to God, if you are seeing this, your financial situation is going to improve dramatically in the near future. You may start drawing in massive sums of money with ease right now. Continue reading to discover the stunning secrets of wealth revealed by a disgruntled NASA scientist. The link can be found in the comment section. Dear kid, keep in mind that God has wonderful intentions for you, not bad ones. There is hope and a future in these initiatives. I am familiar with every aspect of your life, even the most intimate details. Have faith that 
I am deeply engaged in every part of your life, despite the countless hairs on your head, despite the sorrow, sadness, and blunders that may have filled your past. Take heart. I am the god of second chances. With my help, you can make the most of any bad circumstance. Instead of letting your past dictate your future, let me use it as a springboard for your development and my exaltation. Keep in mind that I am a stronghold for you, a constant source of support when you need it. I hope that being here with me brings you peace and that you can leave all your worries with me. I... I am there for you in times of weakness, stronger than you can imagine, illuminating the path when it seems dark, guiding you when you wander off course and protecting you from harm. Keep your distance from me, and I will show you the way. Amen is the key word. My darling, if you are willing, I will make wonderful plans for your future. Through arid rivers and strange places, I shall carve a path. Faithful, optimistic, and patient you shall be. The finest is still ahead. There is no end to my love for you and my vows to you are eternal. Please respond with yes, if you accept what God has spoken. Please know that you may count on my unwavering support and guidance at all times. By the month's conclusion, you will have had plenty of time to prepare for an extraordinary opportunity. You are about to be visited by this delightful surprise. Even today, if you don't want to miss a word of God, subscribe to the channel and enable alerts. The world you inhabit is one in which doubt follows you about like a shadow. I know that worrying about the future and trying to predict what it may bring is natural, but I beg you to put your fears to rest, for I will bring good fortune to you and not disaster so that you may look forward to a hopeful future. Perhaps you are asking what exactly this fantastic chance comprises the unexpectedness of this surprise is its most delightful aspect. Therefore, I kindly request your patience. A delightful surprise awaits you, ready to be unwrapped and filled with delight, much like a present enveloped in vibrant paper. Keep in mind, my love, that no matter how good or bad your experiences have been thus far, they have all contributed to your development the joy, the sorrow you've experienced. The aspirations you've cultivated have been disclosed. You are now more equipped for the future because of all these experiences. Every hope you've held onto and every prayer you've murmured has been answered. And this impending blessing is my way of showing you how much I love you. Your perseverance has not been in vain and your faith is about to be rewarded as time goes on. Maintain an open mind and a willing spirit. Pay close attention to the soft murmurs that are trying to get your attention. I know you've been patient, my kid, and it hasn't always been easy. And I know that no matter what, chances will come your way. Your faith, resilience, and strength are evident to me. You've earned this moment. A new chapter in your life is about to begin with the arrival of this chance. Chapter brimming with happiness, prosperity, and an abundance of blessings. Type MN if you were in need of this. On this path, know that you have companions. I will never leave your side. I keep an eye on you and celebrate with you when you succeed as you wait for this unexpected gift. Rest assured, my love for you has no bounds, and the greatest is yet to come. Dearest child, I am writing to you now to tell you something very important. A gift beyond anything you have ever experienced is on its way to you. Despite the trials, tribulations, and tests of faith that have... Anything that has transpired on your path so far has been building to this point. You are about to experience a miracle, my darling child. 
Miracles do not exist just in books of holy scriptures or in stories told about ancient people. They occur in the lives of regular people every day. Your life has been filled with obstacles, so you could have used a miracle. There have been times of uncertainty, sorrow and hardship, yet you have persevered. Your perseverance, humility and faith have been your guiding principles through thick and thin. Now is the moment to reap the rewards of your growth, the wisdom you've gained, the strength you've built, and the character you've developed. In the form of a tangible blessing, picture this. After a long, dark night, the darkness recedes, and the first light of day slowly unveils the world in all its glory. A blessing of this kind is heading your way, and it will shine a light on the road ahead, allowing you to finally put the pieces of your life's jigsaw puzzle together. Our union will be a picture of perfection and beauty. The road you've been on is going to bend soon. You are being guided towards a place of greater purpose, satisfaction, and joy by this shift, not away from it. What you have been through has not been meant to destroy you, but rather to fortify you. At this point in your life spectacular tapestry, you are going to see the remarkable pattern that has been taking form from every thread, every happy and sad occasion, every choice you've made, and every connection you've cultivated. Therefore, my kid, be unwavering and cling to the optimism that is inside you. An unexpected gift is on its way. And once it gets there, it will change your life forever. Amen is the key word. This miraculous, unexpected boon, if you trust in God's word, is my word to you is an assurance from on high of your value. Your abilities and the marvelous destiny that awaits you. Be calm, be modest, and remain loyal. You are on the cusp of experiencing the most momentous event of your life. These words are like a warm blanket of tranquility, enveloping you as they pour healing and promise into your soul. A melody that revives fading trust and reawakens dormant hopes is like a divine symphony that only the spirit can perceive. Your heart's quiet chambers are illuminated by each word as it connects with them. All the chaos and complexity in your life is really a part of a grand cosmic design, and they are like a thousand shining suns that gently remind you of this. You are not just another sentient being. You are a treasured cosmic kid, valued beyond measure. My dear, beloved child, your inherent divinity has recognized this eloquent expression from on above as a message of infinite love that has always been with you. A wave of excitement, the greatest gift you've ever received, is on the way to you as the message progresses. I am about to bestow upon you an extraordinary blessing, not the kind you can anticipate or plan for, but rather the kind that will surprise you fill your life with wonder and delight and alter your perception of miracles. It will arrive like the first ray of sunshine after a storm, illuminating your world with astonishing radiance. Just type American to get this. The voice assures you that you will soon meet the one who inspired you to be patient, humble, and faithful. This guarantee is meant to provide light on. Beacon when you begin to make meaning of your previous hardships, it will be as if all of your struggles, tears and prayers spoken in the dark of night were steps on a holy path that is about to be revealed. Though the reasons may have remained shrouded in mystery, a holy light is approaching and it promises to reveal your pilgrimage's purpose. Then the air is filled with the words that will imbue your senses with the uncommon and unsurpassed wonder of a miracle and you're about to experience it. Imagine a world filled with awe, inspiring beauty and holiness. Unbelievable miracles, no matter how rare, are on the brink of becoming your reality. 
This reality will surpass all expectations. Bathed in the enchantment of the divine, a metamorphosis of your inner reality, a shift that opens your heart the majesty of the universe and the enchantment in every instant is what the miracles are. Not only an exterior alteration, things will change drastically from how they were not long ago. The course of your adventure is about to take a turn for the better. A higher power is trying to tell you that change is for the best, that it's a sign of progress toward a better future, and that you should embrace it with open arms, that everything in the cosmos is working to help you on your path to greatness is a comforting thought, and this is a wonderful reminder of that. The fruit of your recent development is going to be extremely satisfying and significant. As a result of all your hard work in each class, this sentence hits you like a gentle breath of relief. Every risk you've taken is about to pay off. You've learned, and confirmation of your resilient development and the lovely person you've become from your trials. This spiritual harvest is more than simply any prize. It is deep and satisfying. To show your agreement, write Amen. Then, be sure to remain tuned, being fully present Attentive and receptive to the benefits that are on the horizon is what the Divine Voice is gently nudging you to do. As you go forward, your soul will be filled with pleasure and thankfulness from the richness of miraculous events that the future contains. On the road ahead, keep in mind the sacred message that offers boundless benefits. Open your heart and your mind to the universe. God says to his cherished child, something unique is on its way to you from my beautiful creation. With my love and blessings imbued into this wonderful present, its purpose is to double your pleasure, love and happiness, to claim it. Type of man, my love for you is renewed with every dawn, with every chirp of a bird, and with every touch of the wind that brushes across your cheek. Messages from the cosmos like this inspire to be resilient, to have faith in the splendor of your aspirations, and to go on. Your faith, patience, and resilience have been amplified by this extraordinary gift, which is more than simply a response to your prayers. It's my way of saying, thank you for being loyal to me. No matter how bad things become, Always keep in mind that you wouldn't be the same person you are now without the trials and tribulations you've endured. Everything that has happened to you has not been in vain. Rather, it is all part of a divine plan that has been crafted to fortify your type of men, to strengthen your faith and character. As you enter a new chapter, be ready to accept this rare favor if you trust in a divine purpose. May it bring you limitless pleasure, love, and joy. But my darling, as you enter this next chapter of your life, always remember to be thankful and modest. Be a benefit to others by using this benediction. Feel free to share your joy in preparation for this extraordinary gift, more than simply a blessing. I hope you will share your happiness and love with the people in your life. An ethereal expression of my affection for you. A glaring indication that even in the vastness of space, I'm always keeping tabs on you, leading the way and getting you ready for greater and more magnificent things. A flood of love, joy, and happiness like you've never felt before, is about to descend upon you, my darling. You're going to get it soon. Believe in me, wait for my timing, and know that I am with you at all times. Type, Amen. God says, hold on, my child, because I'm about to turn things around in your favor if you believe in God's timeline. I am fighting for you. 
so don't give up. The difficulties you face on your path will not define you, but rather they will mold you into the person you are destined to be. In the near future, your life will undergo a dramatic change. This is the culmination of all your hard work and perseverance. The suffering was fleeting, but the benefits endured forever. The wonders that are going to transpire in your life are a direct result of your perseverance, faith, and patience, none of which have gone unnoticed. Now I'm going to unleash a deluge of... May you be showered with abundant blessings that will transform your life for the better. May you find solace in knowing that I am fighting your battles, transforming your challenges into opportunities and obstacles into stepping stones. Soak in the strength and power of my love for you and let go of the seemingly insurmountable problems. Your future is being prepared for by me so that it is full of pleasure serenity, success, and wealth. Your breakthrough is about to happen, and the waiting period is almost over. The rest. Do not give up, my darling. Remain hopeful. Stand steadfast in your faith and put your confidence in me. A new day is on the horizon, and with it comes the promise of more pleasure, contentment, and happiness. If you think this video may help someone, Please share it with them. Never forget, the moment is just right. Every step of your journey has led you to this point and you couldn't be more prepared for what is ahead. Have faith. Keep praying and keep an eye out. When you believe all is lost, that's when I make a miraculous turnaround for your benefit. You are about to experience an abundance of positive things, so be ready. A blessing beyond your wildest expectations is going to come your way. God says, if you needed this, type them in. You may have gone through a lot, but he wants you to know that he sees every tear you've cried, every difficulty you've encountered, and every moment you've felt lost and alone. I want you to know that I have never left your side, quietly encouraging you giving you the will to keep going and sowing the seeds of optimism in your heart. I am the strategist, the one who sees the whole picture from the start. There's a reason behind every event, every challenge, every victory, and every hardship that goes beyond what you can perceive. The hardships you've endured are evidence that you are stronger, more competent, and more resilient than you give yourself credit for. You have persevered through thick and thin, reaching this point by climbing mountains, navigating valleys, and walking through fire. You embody the strength that comes from believing in one's abilities and persevering through difficult times. Spirit, I see your endeavors, your commitment, and your will to triumph over your challenges your perseverance will now be rewarded. Your benefits are going to be showered upon you. Blessings that will improve the lives of everyone around you, and you yourself are impossible to contain. A man is the key word. If you feel the same way, then you're about to experience a transformation that will bring you happiness, plenty, and success. At last, You've reached the point when the stars are converging in your favor and the puzzle parts are beginning to fit together in an exquisite plan of heavenly orchestration. Brace yourself for a change, a new beginning, an unexpected leap forward. The anguish, sorrow, and difficulties of yesteryear are soon to be replaced by jubilation, tranquility, and ease. The answers to your prayers and the favor you've been anticipating are on their way. Never forget that I am the God of unexpected blessings. I delight in showering my children with gifts they never imagine. What I'm going to perform for you will be a miracle of such depth and magnificence that it will remain a mystery until this day, bearing witness to the grace and love of God. Therefore, persevere, have confidence, 
and put your trust in me yet. It will happen for you. You are about to enter a new chapter of your life story as the first light of a new day approaches, ushering in fresh chances, blessings, and narrative. It is your own assurance that you will bring it to fruition if you are witnessing this heavenly sign from beyond. God will bring you good things, solutions, healing, love, and change, regardless of how things seem right now. Rejoice in the transformation by being receptive. The beginning of a lovely thing, which is why it is embraced by the arms of patience. My timing is perfect, and you will eventually realize that your trip has been purposeful in shaping you into the person you are today. Keep in mind that I am capable of anything. If there isn't a method, then I am the God who can create one. Has faith in me. Be patient and see how I transform your difficulties into strengths, your disappointments into strengths, your disappointments into testimonies, and your suffering into something meaningful. Get ready for the finest days of your life, because I am going to do something amazing for you. Then hit the Amen button. If you're good to go, I appreciate you tuning in. Please consider subscribing to our channel so you can see more videos like this. If you liked this one and thought it was useful, until we meet again, make sure you click the bell button to get alerted whenever we upload a new video. Please be well, and we will meet again in the subsequent one.